Hey guys, today is a really big day because we just sold our truck camper rocket. We handed over the keys this morning and we bought this thing. It is a 30 foot Class C 1999 Shasta Cheyenne. Looks pretty nice. It's in really good shape for its age. And uh, we bought it last night. Pretty cool. Let's uh, go take a look inside. Really don't know what we're doing. We're gonna end up uh, remodeling the inside. And um, right now, this is just how, how we bought it. What? Puppies? It came with puppies? <laughs> it came with puppies. Let's go. Yeah. So this is it. It's uh, really quite roomy. Uh, it doesn't have any slides, but we're okay with that. It has plenty of room. Um, it came without the dinette. It did have one, but the old owners took it out, which was fine by us because uh, we we're going to rip it out anyways. So, and it's got this uh, amazing, awesome green, bluish carpet. Nice, huh? Dogs like it. Dogs love it. Awesome 90s uh, couch. Pretty rad. Don't know what we're going to do with that yet. <laughs> so, this is the living room. We got nice, two big, nice windows. A bunch of lights. We got a nice fan here. There's a little pull out twin bed. A place to put a TV if we wanted, and extra storage. Yeah, pull out the bed here. I'll show you this bed. Just slides right out. Again, with this awesome 90s fabric. Look, even came with the mattress and a sheet. <laughs> Pretty cool. In that cockpit area. Yeah, which is new to us because having a truck camper, uh, the cockpit area is closed off. You can't just walk into it. So this is really nice to us. I like being able to just, you know, if we have to jump in and go, we can just jump in and go. We don't have to get out and get into the cockpit. And it's right here. So it's pretty nice. Over here is our kitchen. I really liked the layout of this camper. Uh, the kitchen, I think because it's open like this, it makes it bigger. Really like it. Uh, it's got this nice oven. It looks like it's never been used. It's really nice and clean. Yeah. So we'll definitely be keeping that. Microwave, everything works. The hood turns on and this is like our little power station here with our generator start and stop and our Tanks. You mean I'm not going to have to haul out generators? Yes, we can just hit a button, right? I think we just hit a button and the generator turns on. That's so crazy. Before, we had like these two little Honda 2000 generators and we had to haul them out whenever we needed them and it was a pain in the butt. Then we have to start them up, have to be outside, rain or shine, you know, just a pain. So this is going to be like luxury. This is like luxury. So, it's pretty cool. And this is probably one of my favorite parts. The bathroom in this thing is huge. I joke around with Chris that this bathroom is like the entire size of our truck camper. Seriously, I think it was. So, oh, here's another one of my favorite parts. Pocket door. I love it. And then it doesn't want to shut. <laughs> Well, that's what you get when you buy an old camper, huh? We'll have to fix that. <laughs> there it goes. Kind of. <laughs> okay, well, Chris, if you want to... Oh, there we go. I got it. <laughs> Takes a little finessing. So, here's the bathroom. Nice, really nice size bathroom. Got the sink here. This huge shower. Pretty cool. The toilet's over here. This huge wardrobe. The storage in this thing is insane. Like, I don't know what we're gonna do. There's so much storage in this thing. It's just like mind blown. 
You know, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have so much room. We're not going to fill it up is nope. what we're going to do. We're not going to fill it up. And then this is the bedroom. So, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. The bed, pretty sure it's a queen size. Got all the storage here. Another nice fan. And then, yeah, we've got more sliding doors. Oh yeah, this lifts up, it has storage. If I can get the puppy off of it, I can show you. Where are you gonna go? This lifts up right here. Got a little bit of storage. Most of the storage is accessed from outside. So this whole other back end of the bed is a storage, but you have to open the compartment from the outside instead of the inside. So, and another really cool sliding door. This is more of a barn door instead of a pocket door, but I love it because most of these classes have like these ugly, like plastic vinyl accordion doors and they're just like cheap and ugly. This thing has like nice solid wood doors. It's really nice. Flip the switch. So. I love it. It's gonna be home. Hopefully for the next few years. We're gonna remodel it. We have no idea what we're doing. But we're gonna try. Pretty sure I got this key stuck. Because <laughs> oh, it's the wrong key. Oh, the joys of RV life. Old there camper. Oh, we got it out. Because this key opens up. So outside is a whole new game for us. With our truck camper, we built out the extra storage by having the flatbed. And we had tons of places that we could store things. This camper comes equipped with lots of these great storage Oh my gosh, areas. and they all, almost all of them go through. It's amazing. You want to play hide and seek? Yeah. You go hide in there. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> we were so freaking jacked about selling our truck camper today and getting to show off this and get, getting familiar with our new uh, RV, our new home, which I'm tentatively calling El Monte. There's a long backstory to that. I don't like the name. Well, El Monte is, is my name affectionately for <laughs> the new RV. We're going to have to get back to the outside tour because we weren't smart enough to have a battery as backup. So we'll be coming back to you right now. Back outside this RV, uh, one of the th reasons that we really love the idea of a Class C, of course, the biggest reason is the space. And so we've got a ton of space outside. And this is just one of the compartments. Underneath the bed, as Lindsay pointed out, our bed is right on top. And then we've got ample storage space underneath. Want to play hide and seek? <laughs> I you can, can fit in there. You can hide under there. I'll just, I'll lock you in nice I and safe I could definitely and fit in there. It actually looks like somebody was here. Look at all the claw marks. Oh, stop. <laughs> so looking at the, the back of the RV, we have our ladder, of course, to go up on the roof. We'll do that in just a minute. And then we've got the bumper. And inside the bumper is the poop pipe. We like that. We like the poop pipe in the bumper. Um, it's also got a hitch, so we could tow something. Not that we are going to in the near future. And look at this little, uh, that's from Hawaii. The Fancy. Little, the little hula skirts right there. <laughs> so this is the, uh, the back side of it. And I'm not going to get into all of the storage areas, but as you can see on each side, We've got plenty of, of storage. Some of these are pass-throughs. So I take the cover out. It passes through. Oh, we can see daylight. So I could put my big fishing poles in there. Yeah. Kayak paddles. Without having to break them down. Others are just small spaces. But they conveniently hold everything well, we think everything that we'll need. Yeah. I'll hold enough. There's so much storage. Of course, we're also learning about our appliances, and some things are the same on the truck camper as they are in this one. And like this is the back side of our refrigerator. It's pretty much universal when you see this that that's going to be your refrigerator on the inside because this is where the vent is. So we'll get into that. We've got some cool electrical outlets for outside. 
because we also have this wonderful awning which stretches huge. about I'd say 25 feet the length of the camper and then pulls out to a good eight or ten feet out so I can see us chilling out with the camper parked in a beautiful place without a lot of wind the awning all jacked out we could have things plugged in and we could have just a really nice setup out here so maybe we'll end up with our outdoor kitchen somewhere in this this vicinity mm -hmm. so we'll build something like that our propane is different from our truck camper so with our, our truck camper we had two uh, propane tanks that we could take out and fill up and then bring them back here we have a fixed propane tank and this is new for us so we're gonna actually we're gonna actually have to pull up close enough to propane um, center and have them bring a hose out and fill up which is new to us because we used to be able to park wherever and then walk however far we needed to this will actually have to be able to navigate up there so that'll be a change for us as well but it's a bigger tank we shouldn't have to fill it up as often and uh, and yeah that's that's on this side on the other side in that spot is my favorite part of the outdoor setup ready to go see that sure let's go oh yeah look at that baby voila this is our onan microlite 4000 watt generator it runs on gasoline which is amazing runs on the same gasoline as the rv itself uh, it does have a shutoff valve so it will not use up all the gasoline so you can always wake up in the morning and drive off but it runs on the same gas so we just fill up the rv and we run the generator we don't have to lug generators out plug them in connect them in in parallel, lug them back in, fill them up one gallon at a time. We love our Honda 2000s. They did awesome with our truck camper. But for this RV setup, this generator is going to be a game changer for me because I was always the power guy. So I had to do all that stuff. And We've it's also, got a button inside. Oh yeah, you just turn on the button and on it, on it fires. So we also have, right now, our batteries down here and the more I look at it, this is something I'm definitely going to change. It's not very secure. We're not going to be doing off-roading a whole lot, um, but there are going to be times where we're on bumpy roads, and I don't like that at all. And so what we think we're going to do is we're going to move the batteries inside, but we'll talk more about all the modifications we're going to do. We'll talk about how we're going to do them and where they're going to be, and that'll be one for me. Wrapping up the outside, we've got an outdoor shower. It's going to need a little bit of attention. Um, but it's great to be able to save the gray tank and have an outdoor shower, which our truck camper had as well. We highly recommend having an outdoor shower if you like the boondock. And then one of the appliances that we may or may not have to replace, we're not really certain if it works, but this is our hot water heater. And we've got to figure that out if it works. We have a leak potentially in the bathroom. So before we can fill up with water and start testing everything, we've got to make sure that uh, that our leak is fixed. Up on the roof was loud with some neighbors. So just kind of scanning around when you climb up on the roof, you see we've got all of our appliance covers up there, which is fantastic. Um, the good news is that we have appliance covers for, well, almost everything. Two of our vent, uh, vent fans have covers that I need to install, but the refrigerator, the air condition, um, the, the um, what do you call it, the bathroom outlets for the tanks, all those have good caps on them, which is fantastic. The not so fantastic thing is that I'm gonna need to reseal the roof and I'm going to need to get around every one of those, um, what do you call it? Every one of those seals for the different covers and for the different appliances. So it's really, really well weathered right now and we're gonna make it a priority to address the roof literally from the top down inside this RV because there's zero water damage, zero. And that is profound for something that is a 21 year old RV. There's no sign of damage that would have caused a leak. There's no sign of leaks coming through any of the holes that have been drilled and sealed. So we wanna keep it that way because that is, I mean, it's amazing. And that was probably our top cri uh, criteria when we were looking for a new RV was finding something that had minimal to no water damage that was obviously within our budget. And so it was really encouraging to see that. 
I'm going to make sure that there are no leaks when I get up there and do all the surface stuff on the roof. And, um, and we're going to have it in top shape from top down. And then we can do all of our fun stuff inside. So I know one of the first things we're going to want to do is we're going to, we're going to want to rip out all this ugly old 90s carpet. Even though it is a beautiful color, I want it out. <laughs> so we're going to rip all of that out and we're, we are going to put down a vinyl plank flooring. We're also going to take out these lovely curtains and balances and I'm going to, uh, I guess, make some curtains, curtain rods, put some stuff that's more our style in. We're going to paint everything, paint everything mostly white. I'm going to paint the walls, we're going to paint the cabinets. I think it would be nice to have like two big curtains here that we can shut if we want to. I think that would look nice to close this off because I think we're going to use this mostly as storage um, and not for like a TV or entertainment. We're just going to use it as storage. And we're still thinking about if we are going to try to recover this or actually put like a futon in. Right now it lifts and comes out into a bed. But I highly doubt we're ever going to have very many people over sleeping on this thing. Um, but it's actually surprisingly comfortable. We, me and Chris have sat on it for a little bit. And I had no complaints. But we'll see. The heater is under it. That's the furnace. So if we do take this out, we got to figure out what we're going to do. Either we remove the top part and we place a couch on top of the box or we take out the whole thing and we build another box. So we'll see. We'll see what our budget allows. I can even get this thing back down. And the kitchen, my favorite part. Even though it's actually in pretty nice shape, it's my dream to have butcher block countertops. So I'd like to make that happen. We just gotta figure out how we're gonna make that happen. <laughs> Having no experience remodeling, like doing a major remodel. We've done paint and flooring in our old camper, but that was about it. Nothing major, but I'd like a new faucet. I know Chris would like a deeper sink. Um, just easier to wash dishes in and not have water splash out. And if that was an issue with our old one because they're so shallow, water spills out very easily. So I would like to do that and then paint everything you know, new blinds. So in our last camper, in our truck camper, our vit hood didn't work. And to me, the camper was so small to begin with, I felt like the vent hood like blocked off your line of sight. Like I just felt like it made the space feel smaller. But because this is so big and open, I really don't think that this, you know, blocks anything or whatever. So I think it's fine and it works. So I think it's cool. So, yeah. So, we actually had this on our last stove. I'm going to take this off. Ikea makes a really nice cutting board that it's not expensive. And it fits perfectly on top of these ovens. Like, perfectly. It's like a perfect fit. So, we are going to do that. I know for a fact. So, we'll do that for sure. Button. These are buttons that we have no idea how to use. Water heater, microwave, I don't know don't, why. Don't touch it. I'm not touching it. And then this is a water heater. No idea how that works. In fact, we don't even know if the water heater works from this thing. I know the gas system works because we turned on the furnace and I turned on the oven and the stove and that works. But the water heater, we're not sure. So we're not sure we're going to do it that yet. The fridge, we have, oh my gosh, this fridge, is, this fridge is huge. I think like our fridge was like smaller than this. But it doesn't work. But it doesn't work. <laughs> I know, what are, you, what are we thinking? We bought this RV that has two appliances that don't work. Well, 
The owners told us that they had an RV mechanic look at it, and he said that all it needs is a new circuit control board. I looked up the part on the internet. Lo and behold, it's $28. And it looks like it's plug and play. So we're hoping that's all it needs and that it will work once we uh, install it. This thing's huge. I mean, we didn't have a freezer. I mean, our freezer was inside of our fridge and our other RV. I mean, this thing's clean. It looks like it's hardly been used. But I mean, what, ours was like maybe this tall? With the freezer like taking up this spot? Oh, let's go look tiny. at it. No. No, we can't. We, we sold can't. It. it sold it. Well, it's in our tour video right there. You can look at that. So, of course, now we're going to continue the wood flooring. Um, I'm going to paint the shower. I think I'm going to paint the gold black. And they make this really nifty... Uh, like bathroom, it's dirty in there. I'm not opening it, but it's a huge shower. So I'm gonna buy that nifty uh, tile paint that they make that you can, it's waterproof. And uh, you apply it in like two parts and it makes it all nice and white and bright again. So I'm gonna do that. And then we might install a new skylight because the one that's in there is kind of cruddy looking. So we might install a new white one. And then this actually leaks. <laughs> <laughs> the old owner told us that the faucet leaks, and I think it leaks from the bottom. But it didn't do too much, so it came with all this nifty stuff. But I'm going to buy a nicer faucet than this. So we're going to put some nicer household uh, appliances in this um, little, that are a little bit nicer and uh, take care of the leak and hopefully the leak is just the faucet and no other problems. We are actually thinking about doing a composting toilet. We're not 100% sure yet, but we that's been on our minds. Um, we do love to moondock a lot and having a composting toilet would really help out with that because we wouldn't have to dump our tanks anywhere. So if we do go that route, get rid of this and put in a sea head i think that's what we're leaning towards so which is for a sailboat yeah they were originally made for sailboats but now they do make them rv friendly but um but have, yeah they're but they're originally made for uh sailboats we have a land sailboat yeah we have a land we have a land yacht <laughs> this is a land yacht so and then the bedroom we're gonna have to get a mattress because this does not have mattress it's this little foam topper so we're going to get a new mattress for that paint everything of course new blinds pull up all this gross carpet and i'm going to do something cool with these doors because i freaking love them why don't you paint it like a clown no so you close it at night no why would i do that why no it's not what i'm doing i'm going to do something cool with them i think they're so awesome <laughs> oh and look at this we got a front look at this this is another thing that i love it's got a thermostat it controls both the ac and the furnace our last one only controlled the furnace and the ac we had to control manually and it was so loud and this one has ducted ac and it's so quiet like i love it so and of course this fan it actually, now that I look at it, it doesn't look as nice as the one that's in the living room. So we're going to replace this fan and we're going to get a fantastic fan. Because that's definitely not as nice as the other one. I see the difference now. So, yeah, that's going to come out. That's going to be a fun job because that's going to be me on the roof. And we've got a whole bunch of different things we're going to be doing on the roof. So we'll show that to you as well. And... Our solar install, we're going to do an awesome solar setup in this thing. So we're going to be out boondocking, Ooh. solar powered. Is that right, Huck, huh? You like the phone? <laughs> you he, like it? He can't dig it up. He can't. <laughs> he keeps putting his head down <laughs> he like he keeps, can. Yeah, you like that bed? Maybe I'll turn it, maybe I'll cut it and I'll turn it into a dog bed. 
That one's to the switches over here. So that concludes the inside tour. So that is the official, unofficial tour of our new home. As is. Yep. Nothing done to it. About to be a lot of stuff done to yeah, it. Yeah, we haven't even cleaned it. Haven't even cleaned it. Yeah. It still has that 1999 smell to it, <laughs> which reminds me of the conversion vans that my mom used to have, which would have been older than that, like in the early it 90s. It smelled like this? It smelled like this. It really did. But it had the cabinets, it had the carpet, mm -hmm. it had the little bucket seats, it had everything. I mean, obviously not the sink and all the toilet and all that, mm -hmm. but it had all the same stuff. And so it, it really, the smell takes me back to like <laughs> 1992. Memories. Yeah, oh, the memories of riding around in a conversion van. So this is our new home. We have tons of adventures to share with you. We're going to be kicking off our in-between season of remodels at some point. We don't know when, but we are going to share what we do, how we yeah. do it. It is going to take us multiple months. Don't expect anything to happen like with the snap of your fingers no. because it's going, to take a while. it's going to take a while. We have some major projects we're looking at doing, none of which are, as far as we can tell, catastrophic damage. So it's all things that we're doing to ourselves. Yeah, it's none of it. I mean, everything in here is in really good shape. It's in awesome shape. So. But we do want to make it feel like our home. Exactly. And for those of you who have been following us, you've enjoyed our home and the things that we did to make our truck camper awesome and really have that, that feeling. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be doing that to this. It is, it feels like three or maybe even four times bigger, the amount of work it that we're going to have to do. Is. like. The flooring in itself is going to be crazy. The painting, yeah. there's the number of... There's a lot of man, surfaces. Just looking around, there are a, a lot, lot of surfaces. To be painted. So we're going to focus on the things that need to be addressed first, which are going to be like the leak in the bathroom, the hot water heater, figure mm -hmm. out if it works or not. The refrigerator, figure out if it works on electric or not. Um, and then we'll address the things that we want to address, which will be some of the coloring in the floors and... Mm -hmm. The counter space and all that, all that stuff. The fun stuff. The fun, you call it get fun stuff. Get to pick stuff. out all the goodies. And spend money. <laughs> and spend money, that's the fun part. But as you know, we are <laughs> going to do this on a budget. We will share yeah. the expenses that we spend on every one of these projects. So stick with us. We're not in the truck camper anymore. Uh, if you're just joining us, thanks for joining us. Uh, we hope that you will stick around as we convert uh, I wouldn't say convert as we remodel and upgrade and update mm -hmm. our 1999 Shasta Cheyenne 31 foot 30.8725 whatever foot 31 foot uh, Class C RV. It is our home. It is our office. It is our vacation. It is our everything. Everything mm -hmm. that we have, everything that we own will be in this RV. And so we will bring you along on that journey as we get ready for the road again. Yeah. Where do you want to go when we get back on the road? I'm not sure. Alaska? I mean, west. West. Yeah. West is the best. Definitely west. Pretty sure Jim Morrison said that in a song. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to sing it because they're going to dang me on YouTube. Us. Yeah. Copyright. Yeah. So you want to go west. Alaska's west. Mm-hmm. I want to go back to Alaska so bad. <laughs> I know you do. So bad. I love Alaska. If you don't know why I love Alaska, go back and watch our crazy, terrible season one yeah. videos. I th I'm thinking and maybe. Cringe. I think I I'm going to recut. Oh, I cringe. Can, you, can we do like a recut of season one? Because we had some beautiful footage. Mm -hmm. We just didn't talk in the camera. We were no, like we super camera shy. I was so camera shy. I still oh am gosh. camera shy, but look at you. You're like, you're glowing. I'm you're like, better. You're like a light on, on camera. Everybody likes you more. Tell us if you've made it this far. How much you love Lindsay more than you love me. And yeah, that, no. will, that will encourage her to continue this endeavor. But Alaska is beautiful. Alaska is always in my heart. And we're just going to go west whenever we get to that point, God willing. Mm -hmm. So there is so much uncertainty, starting with Lindsay keeps saying, oh, it's just like doing this, and it's just this, and it's just that. And I'm like, oh, it'll be easy. It'll be easy. Yeah, it'll be easy, <laughs> kind of, for somebody who knows what they're doing. So, we're going to show you how to do what you do to your RV when you don't know what you're doing. Because that's me. We're going to figure it out. We're going to study it. We're going to do it and mess it up and have to do it again. But it's all going to be for your entertainment and educational purposes. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being a part of our journey. 
as the journey has taken a new turn. We appreciate you following along. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. And if you're truck camper people, please don't unsubscribe. I know, we went to the dark side, but oh, one day, Baggy. one day we may be back in a truck camper. Have you seen, have you seen the space of this thing? I know. No. At this point in our life, this is, this is what we need. The thing is, is we're not retired. You just had another we baby. We have to work. Yes, a puppy. You just had it in the puppy and needs space. And we need the space, and that's why we have upsized. And COVID. So. COVID has locked us away from international travel, which was a big part of why uh, yeah. we had the truck camper, was we planned to, to Argentina. go to Argentina, and that doesn't seem like it's going to happen anytime mm -hmm. in the near future. So if you have not already done so, please subscribe to our mm -hmm. channel. Like this video because you like her uh, and my gorgeous beard and please share our story in this video with people you think who would enjoy it we do appreciate you following along and being part of our journey leave a positive comment question send us an email if you have anything that we can help you with we love to help you and yeah we will see you when we see you which i have no idea when we will well some of you we will actually see because i know that we've met several of our viewers but mm -hmm. but most of you we won't see you'll see us so see us when you see us.